tell me what to say. Ah, the rating was so nice. Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Sidious Nivage with SBRA Brown and Gourmet Pants. Gourmet Pants! <laughs> Sorry. It's Gourmet Pants. Okay. Today we will be talking about a pen that we have never reviewed before. Yes, we have. I've reviewed it. I mean, that we have not talked about before, like on Serious Nibbage. Oh, that's what I'm doing now. A brand before that has never been done before on S Serious Nibbage. It is the. <laughs> <laughs> it is the. We had a lot of sugar. The uh, Porsche Design. Porsche Design. P3110 or P3110. I'm not sure what their naming system for it is and what it signifies. Uh, it is the Tech Flex Steel Fountain Pen. Please don't do things like that. Now. What are your first impressions? My first impressions. It is actually a really nifty pen. Yeah. Um, the packaging is very um simple plain it's just like this matte block box with a black inside what it makes me think of is the leather interior of a porsche like a sports car or something you know so i do think it has a nice uh you know, what's the word solidity it has a nice it, it evokes Luxurious. a nice luxurious feeling but it's very simple so i do like that they didn't go overboard on that because yeah. um it could have been like this giant absurd box but it's not shaped like a car Some missed opportunity missed opportunity could have been in a pen. porsche missed oh! opportunity what about the pen? okay the pen i think is really nifty now it has um like a <laughs> it fell on his lap it's okay it has like a a weaved barrel and Which is like a fuel uh, tube. Yeah. Apparently. Apparently, yeah. Oh, apparently they actually use. <laughs> apparently they actually use the same material, and um, it's kind of neat. I think. I think it looks really. Yeah. It's very different to a pen that I personally would select, and I think that's part of the fun of being able to do this is because you get to try stuff that yeah. you would never consider otherwise. What about the pen? Uh, anyway, first impressions. It's. It makes me think of a car, like of a, like a high-end car, like a sports car. Yeah? Yeah, what about you? Well, I liked it. I really liked that, that weave pattern. That's, that's definitely very neat. It's also, you may think it's, it's soft, and, and, but it's, it's actually quite rigid. Uh, so I, I think it's, it's very neat. It's, it's definitely, it's also not something I would immediately be drawn to. Yeah. But I see the appeal of this. They, they definitely put design effort in this. They didn't just, you know, take a, a kit pen and say, this is the Porsche pen or something. So, that's nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Now, the question is... Yeah. Sorry, I'm just looking at the What box. makes it special? Well, what makes it special, I I think it's the, the barrel, you know, yeah. because you could also get this in uh, a black and also a steel with like a gold in the weave. And so this is just the, the steel one, but they all have the the weave on the barrel, yeah. and I think that is the the defining feature of the pen. Yeah, and of course so. it's commissioned by Porsche, made by Pelican, so that's also uh, yeah special. That is really it's, neat, uh, it's actually, a car brand, because uh, doing that, and they go the car brand goes to a well-known pen maker. Yeah. So that that makes sense. And there are some Pelican-ish elements in it. For sure. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. What was your writing experience like? Uh, very surprising. I... It's an 18 karat yeah. rhodium plated medium nib. The nib is interesting. It, if you've ever seen the Pelican Majesty, it looks a lot like the shape of that nib, which is kind of, um, like short, wide tines. And, if that makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a very, uh, plain yeah. nib. Um, it is quite, it, it is smooth, not like a buttery smooth nib, it is, um, it's a, it, it is a reliable writer, so I, I, I would say it was positive in that regard. It is not the kind of writer that I would personally want to use, like it's, it's more on the firm side than the soft side, 
no skips, no hard starts, um, not much in the way of line variation, but if you are looking for something like to keep in your pocket and pull out and you need to work right away, it definitely will do that. So my writing experience was very pleasant. Like it definitely performs just like a car. Sorry. And oddly enough, the nib in hand experience, it's really comfortable. I thought that, like he said, that this would be sharp. You can feel it because it has a quite a bit of texture. But I was thinking like, oh man, this the, the weave is like gonna catch my, my skin or something, but it doesn't. It's really smooth and it's really nice. And the whole finishing on the pen, anyway, I'm getting into what I like about it, so you talk about yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, yeah, my writing experience was pretty good. I, I was definitely not expecting that because I thought it was a bit, you know, Porsche and a bit, bit more about the brand name than the yeah. actual writing experience. Yeah. I also thought it was a steel nib just from a quick look at it, but it is gold, it's marked gold, 18 karat gold, that's nice, and I think it's a pretty nice, pretty smooth writer, and a very consistent one at that, it didn't run dry, didn't do anything, so it's neat. I, I was really, really surprised in a very pleasant manner by the writing experience or that the pen offers. For me, the section is a little thin, so I'm kind of going in things I don't like so much about it. It's a little on the thin side. And it's definitely top heavy, and when you post it in this very secure manner, uh, then it's definitely yeah, going to be top heavy because it's a lot of metal. But the nib makes up for a lot, so I'm assuming it was the intention is not to use this for like writing no, a novel or no, something. No, I, I think so too. Right. So that's if you're a poor salesman, that would be nifty in your pocket. That's definitely interesting. So I I I like I don't like so much the 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 top heaviness mm -hmm. um, and the very thin section. I do like the design, I do like how the nib writes um, and we'll talk a little bit about would you buy it in a second or would you love and hate about it? Well I I also like, I think the design is really neat and again I've walked past this pen in stores so many times and I've never given it a second glance and after actually observing it and using it I'm like that's pretty nifty. It's really nicely finished really well made i mean there's no like bits sticking out and um, there's nothing sharp like the section threads are like right here they're super smooth and this mechanism like right here is just yeah like, it's, very smooth. it's really smooth seamless it's really nice it's only a few threads too though so it, it really uh, uncaps very quickly yeah it's, it's just, just it nice. really is a grab and go yeah, kind yeah, of pen yeah. um the section even for me, is a tiny bit slender, just a tiny bit, and um, it it is a heavy pen. But again, I I imagine that it with this kind of weight, you wouldn't buy this pen to you know like write forever with it. But I find the nib a little plain. It's not a bad thing, but I mean, all it says is uh, it has the the gold hallmark stuff on it, um, and it faces. <laughs> The goal, it says 750 medium and 18 karat, and it's stamped that way. So you have to look at it this way. And it also has Porsche nice. design. But so. of course, if you look at it this way, it says Porsche design. So it's like PD and then PD. Anyway, you can see nib pictures on both of our sites. Um, it's not an ugly nib. It's just, it, it, it suits the pen because the pen is fairly unbranded and minimal, I think, minimalistic. Um, yeah. Anyway, there is not a whole lot that I really dislike. I just, I mean, it's a bit heavy. Um, the nib is not something I would personally seek, but it does perform well. So, yeah. Anyway. Would you buy it? Uh, it is 435 euros. And I don't know what that is without that because it's not on the website and I didn't calculate it. And, um... Would you buy it? Would I buy it? That is a good question. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the reason would be not because I... I hate it or anything. I think mostly because the writing experience, although positive, is not the kind of writing experience that I like. So... 
I like soft, really juicy nibs that are responsive and springy and stuff, so yeah. Also, I like a bit more color. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's clearly a very well-made pen, a nice nib. I for detail on the design, all of that is great, but at 435 euros I would not buy this. Yeah. You're buying a cartridge converter pen, I know there are more expensive cartridge converter pens, so that's not the biggest issue, but I find it very pricey for what it is. Uh, a metal, indeed fairly minimalistic pen, at that price level, um, I would start to consider this if this if it would be 50% lower price then I might consider it but even then I would definitely pause there are expensive components on it like I mean well there's a gold the, 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 the material and stuff but um, but even that the, I think it's it's this is a, it comes a matter of you, you 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 are buying a brand name and if you're a Porsche fan of course that's that that may completely float your boat but for me yeah. I'm not so this this is just a very expensive piece of metal I am a Porsche fan but I can't afford one so it doesn't matter oh that's convenient yes isn't it now now is it or is it not serious news um I'm gonna put it about for me personally about mm -hmm. halfway mm -hmm. I think it's a bit expensive for what I like yeah, I'm going to put it, I'll, I'll put it just a little bit further to the right because the nib is so nice. The nib it is nice, It writes yeah. very, very nicely and that I think is a, is a redeeming quality. Obviously, a pen should write nicely, that, that's... However, in our experience and probably yours too, you can buy an expensive pen and that doesn't guarantee the nib is going to write. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. So in that fair, regard, fair I point. think it's... Uh, fair point. It's so just because it's not my taste doesn't mean it's not serious, but because I'm not crazy about it, I'm like, eh. But the nib is, is a good nib. What else could you pick? What else could you pick? A 435? You're getting up to... Uh, it's quite a lot. You can probably uh, buy quite a lot. You can uh, buy hands full of noodles Ahabs. Um, you could get a Sailor Rialo. Yeah, which is a piston filled uh, And pen. 21 karat gold nib. With a gold nib. You um, could get... With a little bit more, you could get a Visconti Homo Sapiens. If you like modern design like this, in that price range, I think you have a Lamy Dialogue 3 with a retractable nib, yep. which is also blocky. The Lamy Emporium. The Emporium. Which is not um, retractable if you prefer a more you know, traditional mechanism. You can probably get a one of the Mont Blancs, not the 146, I think, but maybe the, the, 144. the 144, which is uh, piston, uh, it's uh, cartridge converter filled, mm -hmm. uh, and also... Goth um, Faber-Castell, probably like the um, Anello range, yeah. maybe? So, I mean, yeah. clearly there are a lot of options, some very classic, some much more modern like this. Yeah, it really but depends that price you range, you, you, yeah. you have quite, quite a few options. options. Yes. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So we thank De Rose for lending us this pen. Website we it. is I, I don't even want to try uh, to say that. Vulpen Specialsack. Yes. Dot N L. Vulpen Sorry. We'll, we'll put, put it in the description. Description yeah. so you can click it. Yeah. And uh, that's all it's too. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, nifty pen. It isn't Gonna nifty pen. Gonna speed on sure. out of here. Back to De Rose. We. Uh, Sorry. You get it? Porsche. Yeah, because it's speed a car. Mm -hmm. I guess everybody got we, that. Uh, I hope this was useful. I am very ashamed of my horrible joke. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Okay. I'm glad to see you later. Bye. Bye.